Hi, I am Ana Paula Protasio, visual artist, and I wanted to show you my most recent series. Before talking about this new project, I wanted to quickly show some work of my trajectory that make a link with this new series. I work with movement and suspension, but also with everyday feelings and emotions. One of the materials I chose since the beginning of my artistic career in 2007 was the knitting yarn. My mother had a small factory in Petropolis and the knitting cones were very present in my entire life. One of the first pieces that I used these threads was in 2008 at the Ascension exhibition at Casa França Brasil in Rio. This work entitled Eight Steps has its steps embroidered with feelings and virtues that I think are important in a human being. Also from 2008, I created weaving threads, a wooden sphere being cut by red knitting threads. Over these 12 years, these red threads were intercepted with nylon, copper, and steel wires to translate the suspension, the shade, and these wires became grooves in metals. Last year, I started using these threads in the series Secrets and Whispers that I came to show you today. The idea is to get people to write letters again and at the same time take some weight of their hearts and minds. These letters can be written to itself or for another person, whether the, the other is alive or deceased. The possibilities are endless. Write a letter containing a secret or an outburst of some attitude that you would have taken differently in your life. It can be a subtle cleaning in the energy field, at, at the same time a connection that people will have through letters. Everything is done in the energy field because nobody will never read the letters unless they destroy the work. I've done a work where a granddaughter wrote to her late grandmother and psychographed a letter from her grandmother to herself. This work contains letters from friends of mine where they wrote secrets or whispers that are not connected, but they will be getting cleaned up in the collective. This work, on the other hand, has letters from two brothers and the embroidery chosen was a mountain in Rio called Two Brothers. Each work contains a drawing that has to do with the history of what was written. During the quarantine, I wrote two letters for myself, one of them for me at 15 and another now at 54. Each of these works moves me a lot when talking to the person who will write the letter and when I saw the drawing. I really feel the cleansing being done in the subtle field. Each work in this series different from the other, but all works will lift some weight from those who write, and I believe that in the energy field, even the other that receives, even without having read it.